It's my great pleasure to welcome you to this, our virtual service of readings and music for the Christmas season. Alas, we're not allowed to sing carols, so uh, nothing can be more frustrating than to turn up to a service uh, and not be allowed to sing our favourite Christmas hymns and carols. So instead, here in our five churches, we're producing a virtual carol service. Items will be recorded in all of our churches, around our parishes. Many, many members of our congregations will be taking part. But it's my privilege and pleasure as the um, interim part-time uh, priest to welcome you and uh, make this initial introduction. We gather, of course, in a terrible year, a year where we are assailed by infection. Many, many people have become very sick indeed, some very close to hand here, some are dying, and some have died. And for the sake of each other, we voluntarily choose to limit what we do. We cut out many of the things which give us greatest human pleasure and joy. But God is with us, whether here in church or in our homes or around in our ordinary lives. God is with us. And as we approach the celebration of Christmas, we remember that great fact, Emmanuel, God is with us. That lies at the very heart of our Christmas proclamation. And that is the story that we will be telling once more in words and in music. And so, I welcome you. I give thanks that you are part of this extended fellowship, young and old, women and men, boys and girls, all part of an extended fellowship, joined together in the love of God, the infinite, eternal God who comes to our earth to save us, to heal us, to bring us light and hope. Light and hope. Here I am in Wingham Church, and as you see, by the Advent candles, that promise of the light which is to come, and that light which will vanquish the darkness of disease and war and death itself. Thanks be to God. As we prepare ourselves for this journey through words and music, let's say together the prayer that Jesus taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come. Thy will be done in earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory for ever and ever. Amen. Amen. As we come to the end of this journey, through music and words and prayer and silence, I offer you God's blessing for you, for those dear to you, for our parishes and our communities, and of course, for our world. May the joy of the angels, the eagerness of the shepherds, the perseverance of the wise men, the obedience of Joseph and Mary and the peace of the Christ child be yours this Christmas. Christ, who by his incarnation gathered into one all things earthly and heavenly, fill you with peace and goodwill and make you partakers of the divine nature and the blessing of God Almighty, Father, Son and Holy Spirit be with you this day, this Christmas tide, and evermore. Amen. Amen.